Now I am sick, so I understand that I'm sniffling. Nothing I can do about it, sorry. <laughs> you will deal with the sniffling. Alright, today we're making a bar stool. This picture isn't the scale, but gives you an idea of what's going to be happening. Uh, here's the seat, 15 by 15 inches. Um, I have a note, it won't cover the entire leg because the leg's going to be 1.5 inches by 1.5 inches. It'll cover the entire leg uh, this way, but it will not cover the entire leg going that way. Uh, and then this is just some rough measurements that gave me enough info to make the part list. So, if the wind would chill, uh, this is what you have to make. Um, and I don't have a number of seat pieces because I'll make it up as I go. I just need to have enough pieces to make glue together a 15 by 15 inch seat. Um, and the seat support, there should be two of those, but I haven't drawn that yet. But, yep, pause the video, and that's what I'm working off of. Alright, now we're gonna glue the seat boards or something. Now the back legs are the only tricky part. Um, kind of get a wide board because what we're going to be doing is making this. And I want this to be 43 inches tall. So make sure you got a board at least 43 inches tall. Now I've never done this before and if the end of the video looks good then I did this correctly. So that's kind of where I'm going with this project. But that's a 47 inch board. And uh, that one has to be at least 47 inches. And it's about 5 or 6 inches wide. 5 and a half, we'll say that. So if this works, or if it looks good at the end of my video, then what I'm about to tell you is a great way to finish the back legs of the stool. Now you know the normal boards are going to sit 23 inches high. So, we want to make sure we clear at least 23 inches before we do any sort of angle. Uh, that'll be right here on this board. And twenty-three is right there on that board. And I'm painting this so it won't really matter if I put a bunch of pencil marks on it or something. Anyway, uh, then you got to put an angle on it. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a giant straight edge and just kind of make it reach the top. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. 1.5 inches off the top left side. I think the whole thing's 1.5 inches. This mark is where I want to reach. Um, 
I'll do the same for here. So our first mark of the 23 inches is right here, and we're going to meet this 1.5 inch mark. Let's see what that looks like. And this is the best straight edge I can find. same thing I want to do I might see if I can zoom in on this it's kind of hard to see but uh, my first 23 inch mark is right here and then I did 1.5 inches off the top so this is going to be a square going down like that right it's going to be going across this is the 1.5 inches um, and then this board down here, right here, this side's going to be uh, straight, and then it's going to curve and go to this corner. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but let's see, is this 1.5 inches? Because that'd be perfect. So this is, is 1.5 inches, the width of this board. I'm going to line up my angle. I just want the thickness of this to be 1.5 inches, no matter what angle it goes at doesn't really matter. The board just has to stay 1.5 inches so that it looks good. Uh, so this is going to set my cut with the jigsaw. That doesn't need to be sanded. All right, I'll be back. All right, so so far you should have your two legs. You should have your seat made, and I'll talk about the cuts in the back, your extra pieces, and you need boiled peanuts. I'm just kidding. I just uh, I just have bo boiled peanuts. So the back you're gonna make a 1.5 inch uh, cut, and then three quarter cut. So this cut is three quarter by 1.5 inches. And then um, I was going to talk about what I did on the front. I don't like seats with pointy edges, so I just took this and pushed it as close as I could to each side and drew a line. Then I'm going to cut that with the jigsaw. That's just how I want the curve to be. You can put it however you would like. So now they're sanded, but I'll talk about something real quick. Originally I wanted the bend to happen after 23 inches, which is right here. Um, when I cut this with the jigsaw, uh, one of these blades heated up and bent to the side, so it messed up all this cut on both sides. I had to fix these both with the table saw. And, uh, you know, like any woodworker would do, when you make mistakes, you just figure out ways to hide them. So, if you look on here, the bend starts about right there and about right here. Uh, instead of picking 23 inches of where my uh, seat's gonna sit, I'm just gonna pick the smallest distance on either board where it makes an angle or where it stops being flat. So when this starts sloping down, I'm gonna mark that. And whatever, whatever one is closer to the bottom is gonna be my seat height. So I think it's gonna be about right here, although 23 inches is about right here. So I'm just going to move the seat down. You want to make sure it's straight so that it will meet with the seat perfectly because the seat's going to sit about right here. Actually, since it's going to be like this, the seat's going to sit right here. Oh. oh well. You make errors sometimes. I just knocked over a board. But yeah, you see how it makes an angle about right here? That's where my seat's going to sit because I want it to sit flush with a square piece, not any bent piece. Also, just another lol that I mistaked. Uh, you notice how long this front leg is? Yeah, I never cut it to 23 inches. So, another thing to note, 
is now that we know this one bends at 21.5 inches, this board now also has to be cut to 21.5 inches. So I'm going to fix that real quick. Um, instead of remaking the last video, I'm just going to continue on. This mark is at uh, 21.5 inches. That's where the top of the seat's going to sit. The seat is 3 quarter. So instead of 21 and a half, I'd have to subtract 3 quarter from it. And I would have to do 20 and 3 quarter on this board. Because the seat's going to sit on top of the front post. And it's going to sit, the top of the seat's going to sit in line with your mark. So subtract 3 quarter from it. Almost made a mistake. I mean, I could have cut off more. So it wasn't really a mistake, but in the end it wouldn't have fit right. Alright, now um, I'm lifting this board up because really um, it's going to be pulled in from the outside. So this whole contraption is going to be flipped over. You're going to have your two boards, this board in the front and this board right here and they're going to be sitting right here and then the board is between them is going to be recessed that's why I did it this way oops I kicked the camera alright now I also need screws and this is how it's supposed to look from the outside. Uh, there's also going to be another board which will be placed right in here. And uh, we're going to use the same process to uh, drill the board on the other side. And you're going to do these with both legs. Also I should mention uh, this board is 7 inches from the bottom. Uh, the next board will be 14 inches from the bottom. So do this for both this set and uh, your other set of legs. And then I'll move to the next step. So I should clarify. Um, yeah, you see, we all make mistakes. I made mistakes and put these on the wrong side. Uh, you want them to be recessed facing that way and recessed with it facing that way. Because this one is going to sit right here, and this one's going to be about right here. So see how it's going to be recessed from here, and if you flip that over, it'd be recessed over there. You want the same look on both sides. Alright, next, we're going to put a board, uh, let's zoom in a little. Next, we're going to put in a board right above these members, and it's going to be recessed from the back. So, like usual, put boards underneath and just line it up with the top of these members. Alright, so this is how the stool should look so far. Next, you should put on a cross member about like that. Uh, if you look over, that's where I did my pocket holes. Uh, you can fill in these with. Uh, Hope, uh, hole plugs, but I didn't feel like it. Uh, I just need this to be sturdy. So this is going to sit between these two bars. This one's going to sit over the side bars, and then these can sit right here. Now we're going to attach a board between these posts and between here. Uh, note that we are to this point. Uh, the front will be recessed uh, to this height. Now. I'm pretty sure I just put this on backwards, so I'm going to have to go back and fix it. Or I can plug these holes, but this has to be the same height as that. So just know when you're putting these two members on. Uh, so this is how it looks when I put it together. Uh, I used two uh, pocket holes underneath uh, the tops for the backs. I put them in the middle and I use two pocket holes on each board and that's what you're gonna get now I'm probably gonna paint everything except the seat and the two backs I'm not sure yet or I may just paint the entire thing white and I don't know 
I'll figure it out, but that's how it looks so far. So I'm going to paint with a uh, primer and a sealer. You don't have to. Really, you can just go and get some cheap white paint. This is from Lowe's. This is the cheapest I saw. Uh, the, there we go. Base one, ultra white. So I'm going to paint with this second, and then I'm going to use bullseye first. It's whatever you want to do. It's just what I'm going to use. And make sure you'll get one of these free sticks from them so you can stir it. So, I have the whole thing painted. It's another project I'm working on. And I have the whole chair painted. And I stained both of them a dark walnut. And then I put a clear gloss, a coat of finish on top. You can do as you please. And then all you have to do is assemble it. Woohoo. And then when you're done, go ahead and attach the tops. And this is what the three pieces I was working on looks like. And I'm just going to put this video in both videos. Because I'm making one for the stool and one for the couch side table. That's how it looks. And you're done.